Hi, I'm Sudan Taigai uh, of STG Sound Labs and NobCon, the world's only synthesizer convention. So, we're here at the 2019 NAM convention. I've finally got my own table space here. It's pretty neat. And I want to talk to you about this thing. It's called the Boat Rocker, okay? So, the Boat Rocker is a 10 outlet Eurorack power supply card for a Moog Mother 32 chassis. I know y'all get these Mother 32s and I see them in these big systems. So I know there's lots of empty Mother 32 cases out there. Y'all need power. So check that out. We got this done. It's not, well, it's not done yet, but it'll be done soon, right? It's totally working though. Um, and then uh, since Nobcon, I got, I, I wanted to get a VCO. I've been wanting a VCO. The whole VCO is exactly like why I started doing all this to begin with. And it's been a long, hard road, but I finally have a VCO and it's called the Dot VCO. It is Eurorack's most advanced analog VCO. Let's listen to it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's oscillating, right? Okay, pretty boring because it's just oscillating. So that's the that's the sawtooth wave. Now, what makes it interesting and unique is the tuning system and an integrated modulation generator, which I will explain in a second. But uh, most oscillators tune either like coarse and fine tune or range and frequency. And I wanted to uh, upend this. Um, so we have octave, semitone, and detune. Let me explain. So I'm gonna try it, turn it up. Now, th these knobs here are uh, range and semitone. Oh. Okay, so all the way, all the way, uh, all the way down the knob uh, sets uh, an LFO range. Okay, you're not gonna. I mean, you're obviously not gonna hear that, right? You're not hearing it because it's LFO. You don't hear LFOs. But when you get out of the LFO range, then you're at what we call 32 feet. Okay, uh, that's some pipe organ terminology. It just happens to relate to exactly where middle C is. So uh, it's got all the same ranges as the Moog 901B uh, did. So at 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2 feet. Okay, but then there is a uh, wide mode that allows you to sweep multiple, like five octaves, five, ten octaves with this knob. Uh, that's one of the things. That's one of the things that isn't quite ready about this yet. Uh, it, basically, it's all everything is functioning. There's just some parameter ranges that needed to be adjusted. But since all of that stuff is digital, it'll be very, very quick. So let's bring this up again. Okay. So the first knob was range. So the next knob is semitone. Okay, so that gives you from semitones from zero to 12. The seventh semitone, uh, or what we call a fifth in uh, musical language, uh, and the, the fifth and the octaves actually have a little bit more uh, degrees of rotation allotted to them than the, uh, uh, the other semitones, uh, so that it's very quick to get to that fifth. Um, then the last knob is called detune. So detune only works over a two semitone range, uh, because why would you need more if you can already set the semitone? Um, but in wide mode, the detune knob will sweep over the whole audible spectrum. That's the intention. Because basically, like sometimes, like one of the reasons why people like coarse and fine tuning is they want to be able to sweep through the whole audio spectrum with with one turn. Okay. Well, I hate that, but you know, if you want that, well, I'm gonna I give it. To here, okay? Uh, but I want octaves in, in, in frequency, but then semitones as well. So it's very, very quick to tune this thing. Now, the next thing that is interesting about it and what makes it special is that it has an integrated drift generator, okay? Uh, started out, I wanted to like basically digitally model the drift of an old analog oscillator. 
And then we kick that shit up to 11,000, which happens to be the booth number here at uh, 2019 uh, NAM convention. Anyway, so what the drift generator is, uh, it's a uh, random wobulator uh, or a, um, uh, a linear, a random linear function generator with a, a smoothing lookup table. Okay, well, that's very complicated. We're just calling it a drift generator. So let me show you what it can do. Now, I have the, I have the rate set kind of in the medium of the range. Now I'm turning up the modulation knob. Now I'm adjusting the rate. The drift generator is actually normalized to the modulation input jack. So it can be defeated uh, by just, if, if you're using any kind of external modulation, then um, you just, you, the, you, you don't get the drift generator. But, you know, it, you can use the control input still. Though. So there's the, the, in, the inputs are control, which is one volt per octave, uh, modulation input, which is actually one half volt per octave. So it's twice as sensitive as the control input. Uh, a hard sync input. Now, the outputs of this thing are uh, sawtooth, triangle, and sub octave square. Uh, it does not have a sine shape or a pulse shape because I happen to also make pulse and sine shapers, so I just didn't see the point in putting them on the VCO. So, after we got the VCO done, um, and then I had this I had this power supply. I was like, hey. Why not just design a complete system and call it the Radiophonic One? So that's what I did. And uh, I intend on selling this somehow and uh, making it uh, basically uh, probably in, in more in this configuration uh, with this new module, which is called the .slc. So the first module in this system is the dot BAM, which is a bipolar attenuator and buffered multiple. Then the next module is the dot VCO. The next module is the slicer, the wave slicer, the dot SLC. Uh, then the dot mix, which is a, a three input mixer uh, with a makeup gain stage based on the Moog CP3, so it kind of distorts. Uh, then the Sea Devils filter, which is an EMS diode ladder filter, okay? Uh, and then uh, the world's most advanced ADSR, the envelope generator, which digitally models the Moog 911 and the EMS Synthi 100 trapezoid generator. And then at the very end, we've got a dual linear VCA. Um, and uh, this, so, and I'm pro and there's, if you notice, there's a little bit, there's these gaps in between the modules. That's because I'm 2 HP short. So I'm also going to throw in a 2 HP uh, passive multiple in here. But since I just came up with the idea to make this system about a week ago, I didn't have time to do that. Okay, so I, what I got a patch here set up is uh, two dot VCOs. Uh, their sawtooth waves are uh, going into the dot mix, and uh, then the dot mix is going into the Sea Devils filter. And we're just going to listen to them drone for a little bit. What I'm going to do, like right now, they're just in unison. Okay, I'm going to pull the the filter up. And we do have a little bit of. Okay, so so now we're gonna listen to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tune the second dot VCO up a fifth. Okay, now I'm gonna drop them by an octave. Okay, now they're an octave and a fifth apart. Now I am going to bring the drift generator up on both. And then I'm going to add this envelope generator. Bring the 
drift up even more. I'm going to bring up the maximum now. And I've also got a slow, uh, I've got a slow triangle modulation on the Sea Devils filter from the uh, trapezoid model in looping mode. And I'm going to turn the rate of the drift generator up. Some people use a, a Eurorack system this size to do what you can do with uh, two dot VCOs and a, and a filter, and a Sea Devils filter and an envelope filter. Uh, so I intend on having this available uh, this year. And uh, yeah, um, it, I, don't know, I don't know when it'll ship, but the dot VCO will ship by July. And it is actually available for ordering right now at stgsoundlabs.com. I'm running a special sale on it. It's going to be it's going to be more than two hundred dollars when it sells retail, probably two fifty or two seventy. Uh, but if you want it right now and you're willing to exhibit low time preference and wait for three months, then you can get it for two hundred dollars, any quantity you want. So just visit stgsoundlabs.com and that sale runs uh, basically like while I'm on my name trip and then when I get back, I'm gonna raise the price. Um, anyway, thank you very much, Synthtopia. It's always great to see you like, uh, and we'll see you again at KnobCon, the world's only synthesizer convention. It's held this year, September 6th through 8th uh, in Chicago, in uh, the uh, Chicagoland area in Schaumburg at the Hyatt Regency. Uh, and we have, um, it's going to be a good time. It'll be number eight.